Hey guys, it's John from podcastforthewind.com and I just want to start off this video by saying I just want to say thanks to everybody that has subscribed to my channel, uh, liked or commented on my videos. It's a great help and it keeps me motivated to make more videos uh, for you guys. So let's get started with my favorite top five apps available in Windows 10 Store. Okay, so we're actually going to start off with my number one app, which is actually... We'll just type it in the search bar there. The Xbox app itself uh, for your Xbox One. And I'll just open that up. And this thing is made such a huge difference uh, and it has given you a reason basically to use Windows uh, Windows 10 and, and use your Xbox with it, with Windows 10. Uh, being able to connect to your Xbox, being able to stream your gaming live. It is one of the greatest features. We won't go into that right now. There is a video. If you want to watch that, I talk a little bit more about it. I go in depth a little bit more about how to use it, but it is really great and you can stream and you can play your games in a separate room. So it's great. That's definitely one of my top favorite apps for Windows 10 so far. Okay, let's move on to uh, number four. I guess you could say number four, maybe number two is actually the Facebook app. And I have to say now in Windows 8, it wasn't a big favorite of mine and only because you weren't able to minimize your windows uh, you would basically open up the app and it would open it up in full screen mode so right now it's actually uh, downloading I'm downloading an update for it so I can't open it right now but I will show you uh, the Twitter app which is actually I would say my number three app and I love it I mean it's great so now you can have your Twitter account open as you can see here and not only does it open in window mode like this but it actually, there's Barnacles Nerdgasm. Shout out to Barnacles. Love the guy, he's great. Uh, but anyway, not only can you uh, have your uh, app in a window, but you can actually get automatically automatic notifications right here in your notification bar. As you can see here, you should probably clear that out, my, my, my mail and everything, but you can clear that out. And every time you get a, a tweet, a retweet, a favorite or anything like that, or uh, when it's Facebook, if you get a message, if you get any kind of notification, it shows up right here in your notification bar. So I have to say top, uh, you know, maybe you could say top four, top five for Windows Store. This has to be it right there. One of my favorites. Okay, let's move on to, uh, I would say at this time, my number two favorite, <laughs> somewhere around there anyway, is actually Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. This, if anything, has drawn attention to the Microsoft Store in the Windows Store, especially if you're whether you're on your, your a Windows phone, if you're on a Windows tablet, a laptop, or a desktop, you're now going to be able to have access to Minecraft Windows 10 Beta Edition. Now, this is great for anybody that has been playing Pocket Edition. This is great for anybody that plays Windows, or I should say Minecraft, uh, uh, for your desktop. Uh, this, is, this works with it really well. If you already own an account with uh, Mojang through Minecraft, this is free. And if you do not, it's only... I believe right now it's like $9.99, so it's a really good price. It might even be cheaper than that. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. But this has to be, without a doubt, one of my favorite apps uh, available. And this must be drawing some really positive attention to uh, the Windows Store. And I think that was one of the smartest things that Microsoft could have done. <clears throat> okay, but let's move on to my number one favorite. And this would not have made the top list if this was Windows 8. But I would actually have to say... Netflix is probably my number one favorite. Now, I don't use Netflix as much as I used to. I've kind of gotten out of it a little bit, but I would say it's my number one favorite because not only now can you just have it as an app, but you can watch it in Windows mode or windowed mode. So if you were to watch it like here and I could drag it over, for example, to my secondary desktop, that would make things just so much easier. So if you're watching a movie on one screen and now you can actually just do something else on another screen and not worrying about having to, you know, alt and tab to get out of that screen. Now you can actually just move it around. You can even like swipe it over to the side like that. It just makes things so much easier. So I say Netflix because uh, watching media and maybe playing a game or doing that or doing homework, it depends, or doing some, uh, I don't know, even work in general. It's just great to be able to have that as a feature. And Netflix, I think, really shines on this. And I think uh, it, right now it's got about a four star rating right there. And I think that shows. So I mean, that's just my first top five, and I'm sure there'll be more, but stay tuned. And again, you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, your comments, your thumbs up. It's been great. Stay tuned for my next video. Thanks, everybody.